Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk about how to get started with drawing and some tips I have for anyone who's interested in learning to draw and sketch. Most of you know that I like to draw in ink and I use a Sharpie, I'll tell you why. You can gather some basic art supplies, you don't need anything expensive, just some paper and a Sharpie or crayons or a, a random pencil that you have and get started. That's the first thing you need when it comes to drawing. The second thing I wanted to say was most people start drawing with a pencil. Any pencil will do. I recommend holding your pencil lightly and practicing uh, different shapes and just getting comfortable with different shapes in every single thing you're going to draw. If you think of it in shapes, and you've seen probably in my videos where I talk about drawing like the eye from the side or drawing the nose, everything starts with a basic shape. So that's something you have to get comfortable with as well. I don't always recommend when you're just starting to learn to draw with using a pencil simply because the majority of people will grab an eraser and they'll start erasing if they feel like it's not perfect enough. And then they'll hold their pencil really tight and they'll just like really try to be perfect with their drawing. And then you get into spending all your time erasing and hyper-focusing on one part of your drawing instead of realizing that, you know what, maybe you can take that wonky weird shape and make it into something interesting. Maybe everything doesn't have to be those perfect, perfect lines that you see other people doing. And again, don't compare yourself to others. That is just the worst thing you can do when you're starting to draw. Okay, so you can start with a pencil, but the problem is, is that you end up erasing and drawing and erasing and drawing the same thing over and over again until you get frustrated and you quit because you didn't do it perfect the first time. So that's why you'll see me lots of times drawing with a Sharpie marker because I have to work with what I've done. Like there's no going back, there's no erasing. I have to work with what I've created and if it doesn't look good, how can I make it look better? Like what lines can I add? What colors can I add? How can I make this drawing look better? So for beginner drawer, for beginners who are trying to learn how to draw, you can use a pencil to start. And I know that everyone says, oh, you know, use a pencil and, you know, they, they do measurements and get the ruler out. But ultimately, I personally think it just takes the fun of it, fun out of it. And that's why I recommend using a Sharpie marker or you can use a, an acrylic marker and then you're sort of stuck with what you've done and you can look at it later and see where you went wrong and how you would do it differently versus drawing and erasing, drawing and erasing and trying to make it better. That's my first tip when it comes to beginners and drawing. The second tip I have is if you can get an old magazine or an old book and you can trace, you can use tracing paper, I don't have any, this is a very old book is that you can get really old books from the thrift store or old magazines and you can get tracing paper or trace directly on it. I use these usually in when I do multimedia artwork, but you can trace the face and practice that way with where things fall. You could trace anything. Whatever it is that you're into, you can start tracing and learning different lines and how to draw. Uh, it just makes it easier with learning how to draw. So tracing something that's already done gives you the idea of the basic shapes. You can also add your own little, um, your own twist to it if you want. You can um, t spend some time getting some tracing paper, maybe some markers, and practice drawing and coloring in. You'll see I have some videos that I've done this with. And it's a great way to learn sort of features and shading and coloring and, and all of that. Getting the old books, cutting them up, putting them on paper, doing some outlines and adding my own touch to it. But it really does give you a sense of shapes and how to draw. 
It's just a great way to practice your drawing skill. Tracing paper or old books that you can draw on um, and color over and add your own twist to it, but you're really learning about different lines and shapes and how to draw faces and uh, figures or whatever it is that you wanna draw. And I just wanted to showcase, this is um, a mixed media drawing that I did using this method that I showed you. I literally took an old book like this. This one is all faded, by the way. None of the colors are, are good. It has a, a mildewy smell to it. So it's not like I'm using a book that could be otherwise used. I get old books that are usually going to be thrown out. So I will cut this shape out and I will glue some of it onto a paper and I will draw over it and around it and color it. And that's how I practice drawing figures. I have a video where I did this one and I have a video where I did this one and it's just a great way to practice drawing. The next thing I like to do is get uh, vintage books or books that I love and I try to recreate these images in my own style. Uh, I will often use a like a sharpie pen or a colored pencil to do this because I don't want to uh, erase my mistakes. I don't want to spend all my time erasing my state, my mistakes. I just want to practice what I'm seeing and if I can recreate it in my own style. And I think the other thing too is when people are trying to learn is that they spend so much time trying to draw exactly what they're seeing the exact same way. And even though I am trying to to draw this, I'm, I'm still trying to draw it in my own style. And I know my areas of weakness too, but it doesn't stop me from practicing. Like arms and hands could be a weakness, but it doesn't stop me from practicing, studying sort of different styles of drawing and seeing if I can practice doing it myself. That's what I'm showing you here, how I try quickly to practice what I, uh, what I'm seeing and drawing it in my own style. And I'll just try to finish this part here before I go on to the next thing. But that's my second tip for, for practicing draw. Oh, that's not the greatest nose, but for practicing and learning to draw, that is my second tip. Get some books that you love with art in it. And it can be from the thrift store. It can be, you know, from the bookstore, but find something that you love and try to recreate it in your own style. And I'm not talking with grids and lines and all of that. I personally don't like the whole measurement thing of drawing. What I mean when I say measurements is a lot of people will show you uh, basically how to draw a grid. I've seen this. And then you draw a grid over, you know, the artwork and you try to recreate every little thing. Oh, the nose is here and I got to match it here. And the eye is up here. And, and it, you know what I'm talking about. If you've tried to learn how to draw, they, they do this grid thing and anything for me personally to do with grids and measurements. Uh, I just toss that in the garbage simply because it takes the fun of it. It takes the fun out of it. And the joy is gone because you're so busy trying to recreate exactly what you're seeing. And in my mind, where's the originality in that? Why can't you try to draw something um, and you see it your own way? You don't have to see it exactly how it is in the picture. Unless you're trying to draw realism. And personally, if you're following me or watching my videos, I'm not into drawing realism I'm just talking how to learn to begin to draw and um and practice um and and still find joy in it rather than trying to be perfect or trying to be like someone else just finding your own style by practicing using these methods that I've been showing you the next tip I have is to just take some time every day to practice your sketching and whether that is five minutes or an hour, I think that just taking the time to practice your sketching can help you improve 
drastically. What I'm doing, I'm trying to improve my sketching and that's why I'm sharing it on YouTube. And I am so happy to have all of the incredible support from the people um, that have subscribed to my channel. I really am so grateful for you following along and leaving your comments. And I'm happy to sort of share some tips on how to get started with drawing because you don't have to be uh, perfect and you don't need to strive for that either. You can just um, strive for making small improvements Oops. small improvements every day and um, or every week or every month whatever that goal is for you for me it's um, improving I don't know every week if I can and seeing what I can create and I'm documenting it using uh, YouTube and again these are my tips these are what's worked for me with respect to um, improving my drawings and getting started with drawing and how to get started. So I hope that, sorry, I get distracted when I'm drawing. I hope that this video helps anyone who is interested in drawing get started to draw without fear and just get out there practice don't be afraid and um, don't be afraid to make mistakes because you know what if you're not making mistakes when you're practicing your your sketches then you can't possibly be trying to improve you have to make mistakes you have to do some ugly drawings <laughs> you, you have to create things that you don't want to share with anyone simply because it's the only way to improve is to practice, practice, practice. Make some ugly art. Don't be afraid to try new things and have fun when you're doing it. If you're not having fun, then I'm not sure how you can possibly improve simply because you really, whoops, you really do have to, you really do have to love it. If you don't love it, then chances are you're just going to um, quit and give up. But if you love drawing just for the fun of it, just because you love doing it and you don't quit, you will improve, guaranteed. I look forward to seeing year over year how I improve on my sketches. I hope this helps anyone who is wanting to start drawing and um, is afraid to give it a try. I hope you jump in with me, subscribe to my channel and draw along. Thanks for watching and happy sketching.